I'm going to go ahead and change the membrane. That took about a minute to remove. Please ignore this date. <laughs> I need to open this up and I'll use strap wrenches to loosen this because it's been closed for so long. I'm going to replace it with a new 100 gallon a day membrane because that's a 98% rejection rate. I left the waistline connected because there's no reason to disconnect it. And that's where it was. The new membrane needs the O-rings greased up. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this from the packaging. Put a little bit of silicone grease on there. It's always best to do this when you're installing a new membrane or when you're servicing the unit and you have to get to the old O-rings. looks pretty gross. All right. All right, I went ahead and did some cleaning. Let's take off this date. It's no longer valid. And we're going to put a new sticker on here that shows when the membrane was replaced as well. I went ahead and cleaned in here. I took out the O-ring. This O-ring is actually pretty old and could be replaced, but um could be all right. So I'm just going to go ahead and grease it up and then put it back where it belongs, which is right here on the end. We'll take our new membrane and we'll press it in all the way. Screw the cap back on hand tight. And then we've got two different fittings here. <clears throat> One's an elbow and one is a check valve. The check valve is on the good side. Let's go ahead and screw this in fresh. I applied a little bit of Teflon tape on there because they seemed a little bit loose after all these years. I like a little bit better grip. That feels good. I'll give it one extra twist. And then here is our waistline elbow. You can tell it's the waistline because it's off center. See, here's the center. This is the good line. This is always the waist. Okay, that is good to go. We can plug our waist back in. Remember the off center elbow. Put our little clip on there. It's a retaining clip, just helps it from releasing accidentally, and it's ready to be reinstalled. So I've got to reconnect it onto my blue line on this end. Just a matter of pressing it on. There we go. Snake our waistline under the clips. Reconnect our supply line which is the water coming from the booster pump. And then we need to turn it on and we need to prime it to remove all of the food grade preservative in that brand, made, brand new membrane. All right, I just opened this valve so no water is flowing back into the unit. The pressure gauge is starting to show pressure. Let me show you guys that. And let me go ahead and plug in the booster pump. And now our pressure has increased to 80 PSI. Interestingly, with the old membrane, it was closer to about 95. So that membrane definitely was wiring out. So the system is running. Pre-filters are going into the membrane. It's coming out at what looks like about 82, 83 PSI. And then it runs through my tubing and is coming out this green tubing, which is a temporary tube, to go into this bucket. Once this bucket is full, that would have been five gallons of RO water that came out. At that point, all the food grade preservative is out, and I can go ahead and disconnect this line, hook up the tubing normally, start making RO water, start making DI water. We're about halfway there. Nice reminder noise, because the bucket's full. Pressure is almost up to 90 PSI. And I just checked the TDS coming out of the RO, it said 1, now it says 0. 
And that's before I even get to the DI stage, which would be the other half. So definitely glad I changed the membrane out because it was coming out around six or eight.